Six Sigma is not just a badge that the scientist carries in order to impress his boss, at least in most cases. The process of setting up systems to monitor dynamic conditions in a dangerous environment has a great impact on the employees who have to work in these environments. While working in the geothermal industry, I had to set up a limb system to monitor conditions of the zinc recovery process. This process had hundreds of sampling points monitoring mechanical rates, chemistry, and product quality. Within this process, there were a number of possible conditions that had significant dangers involved. Dramatic changes can occur in such systems. Breaks in pipes, automated chemical addition systems can be locked open, adding massive levels of expensive or dangerous compounds into the system, and valves tend to stick, either closed or open, that can lead to disastrous results. The limb system not only monitors slight changes for the purposes of statistical process control, but can be made to monitor changes that indicate catastrophic failures along the line. On one occasion, the limb system indicated a loss of pressure upstream from a break that allowed the controllers to shut valves and stop the system from the plant's control office, without endangering the health and safety of any employees. That is one of the greatest feelings in the world. The loss of life because of such a failure is something that you could never get over. And in that industry, some failures cannot be predicted. But when you have to send someone into a situation where other failures can occur because the system is continued to run while the problem was investigated, then you are in reality sending the Christians to the lions. The LIM system, through its constant monitoring and emergency identification alert systems, allows the controllers of the system to know instantaneously when failures occur and where, allowing the first response to be from the chair of the man with the switches. This system not only has emergency alerts associated with instantaneous changes, but it also alerts the controllers and management about slight changes and trends that indicate the impending catastrophic changes that may occur. The previous example was the blowout of a witch's hat filter in a coupling, and the walking employee had been there only minutes before. There was no notice, and the construction of such parts lead them to be some of the last things you would expect to fill. But since that point was a drain line from a chromatographic column, gates that should have opened in the column were forced closed, and a significant buildup of pressures had already occurred by the time the system was shut down. Had the employee returned to ascertain the problem for the controller before the shutdown, there would have been several more explosions and the employee would have been cut to ribbons by high speed and high temperature steel and fiberglass. The LIMS system, if no other reason comes to mind for its use, is probably one of the best monitoring systems for dangerous environments and chemistries. Paying for it through your safety department could possibly reduce your costs in insurance and maybe even pay for itself in that regard. This all started with Six Sigma and it is Six Sigma that drives the system monitoring engine. The LIMS administrator must understand how to employ this technique of statistical process control and know when and how to generate reports and alerts efficiently to the people who will make use of the information in a timely manner. Proper LIMS administration can indeed mean the difference between life and death, not just optimized production and product quality.